Good afternoon. Happy Thursday, everybody. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to pop in and do yet another impromptu um, art show. <laughs> I'm outside. It's a little breezy, so if things, it could get exciting if the wind blows everything over and I have to chase things around. So stay tuned for that excitement. Um, this art show I've been thinking about for a while because to me, it's a subject that is um, could be touchy for people, but it happened and we're all living through it. I call this my pandemic art show. And these are, I think I've got six or seven, seven, actually eight pieces that I worked on and it was right when the pandemic really got us go, got going and we're all at home and the world literally changed for everybody and I don't mean this to be sad but if you're kind of a history buff or there's someone in your family who's a historian this art show would be for you because we are actually living through history right now um, and if you're watching it and, and I'm talking to you we've survived up to this point which is amazing and I am so sorry from deep in my heart if you have lost a loved one, a friend, someone you know during this pandemic because that truly sucks. Um, so it's kind of a memorial to those individuals who didn't ask for this either, but we're in a new normal or it's we're going to be at some point. So I'm going to have this show. So these are the pieces that I did. Um, man, right when I was feeling the whole crush of the pandemic, and I think everybody was. Watch me forget where my glasses are. I hope I don't step on them. I love those. So what I'm going to do is switch the camera around, and then I want to talk to you about these pieces. So let's do that, and bear with me. I want to start right here. So this is an acrylic painting. Oops, sorry, I'm fighting the wind. It's a 12 by 12. I'm outside. <laughs> sorry, so you got some tree shadows there. But it's called World Interrupted. It's acrylic. And man, when I did this one, I, it just came out of me like in a fury. And it's abstract, yes, but I felt it. This is how I felt our communications we're going haywire. The internet was crazy. People couldn't communicate the way they used to. We couldn't even talk. So it's not surprising to me that this one has all these crazy telephone lines, markings, etc. on it. I'm going to lose one there. I got it. And if you look at the back of it, this is literally from me and my studio. So <laughs> it comes hardwired, ready to go. And I will let you know, it starts at 56 print-wise. Um, this original is 240 bucks, valued at 240. But remember, code BF2020 will get you 25% off right now, whether it's the original or a print. Okay, the next one, the one that tried to escape, I got it. This one is called A Symptom of Quarantine. And again, this was me feeling the disruption of the world. And I thought about the people in the cities. Like, if you live in a city, you are very used to company in the urban area. As a matter of fact, you get really good at being alone among people. And then I thought, oh, but their streets are deserted. The, the stores aren't the same. Again, communication's crazy. The world just has a different color. This is an acrylic. It's got some graphite in it, pencil marks. Um, acrylic on paper. That's why you see it in the mat. Okay, but it's still an acrylic painting. And it starts at $38.98. And it's the original, if you want to purchase it, is $210. So, A Symptom of Quarantine. And that was World Interrupted. I hope I'm not going too fast. But anyways, I can always slow it down. And I hope I'm not making you motion sick. That's terrible. All right, so... This is another 12 by 12, and it's on a board. See, like the other one was. And of course, it's, it's an acrylic, but it also has um, some collaged papers in it, so you'll see different textures. Now this one, 
It was one morning, it was like early April, late March, it was fairly warm. And I woke up and I had my breakfast and I took it out to my studio. Like that's how I was gonna start my day. I was, you know, we're in quarantine, we don't see people. So I'm out there and I'm looking at my studio and the artwork there. And I just picked up a new board and said, oh my gosh, I'm going to paint my breakfast. Here we go. Because I'm having breakfast alone and it means something different now because I used to have breakfast alone by choice, but now so many of us have breakfast alone because we have to. And that has to be shocking. So all of these pieces represent how I feel about or how I felt in that moment. And again, we are living through history. So this is some crazy stuff. Breakfast alone for Prince starts at 56 bucks and the original, it's a 12 by 12 acrylic. It's sealed, um, it's 240. All right, breakfast alone. Now this one is one, was one of my favorites to do. I absolutely enjoyed the process of this one so much. There's so much in behind it, in there, so many layers. I put things on and then I would glaze over them or sand them back. And then I would paint over top and then I started drawing and using a palette knife. And this is called, um, let's see, Touched by Light. I think when I was doing this, the, the sunlight meant so much more to me that day than it had because it's all I had. I didn't have company. You know, we had to be at home. We couldn't go out. I wasn't working out teaching art lessons anymore at our local shop. So it was how I felt. The light was there and I saw it, but it wasn't as warm as it used to be. So kind of like, if, this one I think represents the feeling of having all of the color and life and warmth sucked out of you when things change so drastically. And again, it's a 12 by 12, so it's 240 as an original, and it starts at 56. Now, this one is just on a board, okay? So it's not in a crate on a cradled piece of wood like this is, okay? But it's still on wood, and usually it's birch wood. Okay, now, this one. This is called Barely Touching. It's also a 12 by 12, and it's on a wood panel. Whoops, see that? Oh, it actually has a piece of a painting on the back of it. That's crazy. There was a discard. It's kind of like a two for one, not really, joking. <laughs> so um, this has a lot of line work in it. I, I liked it. It was busy, I liked the colors. It's a very limited palette. Okay, again, it's a 12 by 12. So the original is 240 bucks, but it starts with the prints as, um, let's see, 56. Huh. Now, this one. Let's put this down. This one is called Social Distance. And when I did this, again, I was feeling like when you're in a setting with other people, and when we did kind of venture out, because we had to go to the grocery store or wherever we were going, and that's a shadow, by the way, so the painting doesn't really have that on it. Let's see here. Uh, still has the paint. I'm struggling, but I'll get it. Hang with me. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> the leaves and trees are still waiting. They want to be in this video. Um, what struck me was how people, how they interpret what social distance means. So some people ignore everything and they're touching and hugging and loving. And then some people, it's frightening and, and they want that distance and they're trying to preserve it. And then there are others who just hover around. You don't know what they're doing. They're six feet from you. Are they playing by the rules? No one knows what the other people are doing biologically, if you know what I'm saying, so that gets kind of scary. Now this is a 20, 16 by 20, and it 
runs about 320 bucks original, but it starts, let's see, at 53.66 for prints. I really like this one. It's a mixed media. Look at that. A lot of layers, a lot of soul in this one. Me thinking about what people look like. How do you feel? Some of us feel like ghosts anymore because we just don't get to see others. And you can see the graffiti, the unrest, the disruption of our world. Yikes. Okay, that's called social distance. That was my interpretation of it. Now, this little rascal right here is called Solitude Redefined. The reference photo was taken by a friend of mine, and I actually did two of these. The other one was a soft pastel. This is an oil pastel and some graphite, okay? And I call it Solitude Redefined because of the ghosts there, the little images of cows that were there. So now being alone in the pandemic, it means so much more if you could just remember the people that used to be around you that you would see on a daily basis. But I remember really enjoying the way the, um, the graphite went through the oil pastels like butter. It was amazing. It was fun to do. This is 180 bucks for the original and it's an oil pastel on paper and it's $180 for the original, but it starts at, oh, that's why I said that. It starts at $45.48, okay? So that's my pandemic art show, except there is one more, and it has a little bit of a history, and it's this one right here. Oh, goodness. This one is called Distorted Memories Through Carnival Glass. Now, this is a painting over another painting. And when I painted the original, I really enjoyed it because it was looking through the window in my studio and I had a pitcher and three glasses that I never used. I ended up taking them to Goodwill, so I painted them. And then the pandemic hit. And then I did the other six paintings that I've shown you, seven. And I picked this one up and I went at it, which means generally for me, I wreck what is originally there and I go at it again. And doing that kind of thing sometimes just produces a whole new piece. And then I brought in like other, oops, excuse me, drop the camera. There we go. I brought in this piece back here, but it's so see-through. And then I changed all of the glasses shapes. They were originally the same type, these little bubbly glass, cheap glass glasses. And I changed them and I felt so distorted, like, and they are distorted because originally the piece reminded me of my grandma and the glassware that she would have stored in her house. And she did collect carnival glass too. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, what are grandchildren gonna remember who are growing up during the pandemic and this is what they know. And it really kind of made my memories of my grandma and her carnival glass feel very distorted. So that's where this one comes from. And I don't mean that in a sad way. It was just a lot of crazy fun. And I just let it roll. I let it pour right through me. See the world out there that used to be? The leaves, they're still there. Mother Nature's still with us. So there's a lot of collaged pieces in here, a lot of rework. There's a ton of texture. I don't know if you can tell. It gets kind of crazy. This one isn't even on my website. So... It's a 20 by 16 oil. I don't know if I'm gonna part with it or not. If you're looking at it and it really resonates with you, please let me know and I will um, talk to you about it and see what you think. So, let's see where we are here. 
Whoops. All right, so that's the end of my art show. I am, sorry, that was really awkward. Oh, I need to get a camera person. Anyways, well, I'm all I've got. Times are tight, you know, and people won't come out. So, pandemic art show, there it was, rough and ready. So I call them my barefoot art shows. They're crazy. I don't know what I'll do when it gets cold. Um, so let me know if you are interested in any of these pieces. They can all be found on my website under either landscapes or still life or figurative. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts, questions. If any of these pieces resonated for you or if you know someone in your family or a friend who's avid history buff and you think they would really like one of these or appreciate it, giving a gift of art, whether it's the original or a print, is a personal, beautiful thing to do. And I encourage you to get personal this year in this Christmas season or the holiday season or maybe just because it's a Thursday because we've had our personal really redefined and changed. So now we have to reach out and touch people differently. All right, this is me. I had quite a day. I hope you enjoyed the wind and me falling around and the pieces slipping and falling. Um, I hope I didn't make you seasick through all the juggling and moving it around. You, you would think I would have enough sense to go inside and do it inside, but I love it outside today and it's November and who knew it'd be this warm out here. It's great. So I'm enjoying it. I'm sharing it with you. Please stay in touch. My website is www.yvonneagart.com. That's Y-V-O-N-N-E-A-G-E-E-A-R-T.com. Your Black Friday code is BF2020, 25% off at checkout. Um, and if, you, if none of these resonated with you there, sniff around on the website. I got lots of other stuff to do. And I have some events coming up in um, late November and, you know, supporting small business Saturday and in De early December, some more events. And I'm just excited to be able to keep a social distance with the mask on and do some stuff. So get out there. All right, so take time today to create something, anything. Just let it come out of you. It'll make you feel better. It's so good. It's good for the soul. And um, please get in touch with me if you want to. I appreciate that, and I'll answer any questions you have. And stay tuned. Things are happening. This is going to be a great month this November. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, by the way. Bye.